Hello, this is Rod Kyle. Welcome to our bison farm. Myself, my wife, my daughter and our son-in-law have this operation. Today we'd like to share with you our love of the bison, our history of our farm. So our operation started about 20 years ago, about 1999. Our herd started with essentially 40 calves we bought from a local farmer out of Callahoo area. We bought 40 calves. At that point in time, we thought bison would be just like cattle. Very quickly, we found out that the bison, they do what they want, they go where they want, and when you want them to do something, they do not have a rule book. And this is a, a herd of uh, a combination of woods and plains bison. You'll find there's several calves there that you can't even count. Every year, about the first part of May to about the middle of June is when bison have their calves. In this herd here, there is 40 cows and three bulls, and the bulls stay with the cows all year long. Most of the time, the bison get along. During breeding time, of course, that point in time, the bulls, there is a strong hierarchy who gets to take care of the females. Hello, my name is Renee, I'm Rod's daughter. I farm here with my husband, Ben Arlo. I am fourth generation from the Kyle family to farm on this land. So our biggest bull right now is just over 2,000 pounds, but he'll end up being around 2,500 when he's full growing. Our cows range between 12 and 1,400 pounds. Some of them are a bit smaller, but they'll grow pretty quick here. Come say hi. Hi. The calves are about, can I do that? <laughs> Just actually like a cow, a cow. They're the same size, like a big dog, like a lab. So what we do each year is we preg check our cows. Well, I should say our veterinarian preg checks our cows. So that's Doc Collin out of Westlock, instrumental to our operation here. Uh, but we also give them dewormer. No steroids, no antibiotics, nothing else. Once every year, in, at the end of November, we bring our cows and our calves down this long runway and we bring them into what we call a handling system. Anybody that raises cattle will call it a squeeze. We have seven foot panels and those are like three inch drill pipe panels so that they can't jump. <laughs> then we slowly pressure them down into smaller pens so that we reduce their numbers as they move. When we get them down to one animal, they'll get into the squeeze is what it's called, which holds them and confines them. That's the only time that we ever get to pet our bison. <laughs> so we actually have a couple bulls that when they're pretty animated, when they get in there, you'll see them bounce around pretty hard. But once they get confined and they calm right down, there's a few that really like us to scratch their foreheads. <laughs> the most challenging part of bison farming is to understand the animal. By that I mean, they're an animal that does not really require us to take care of them. We forget that they were lived here, they roamed from the southern U.S. up to northern Alberta, in some areas into Alaska for 10,000 years. So this herd has about 90 acres in here. They move around constantly all day. You'll see them, they'll graze continually. It's when in the winter when we feed them hay, they'll eat where the hay bales are. But other than that, they don't stay still at all. We supplement our herd with oats from about May to about August because that by feeding them extra protein and, the, and oats, that's all it is. It makes sure that the body's in good condition for the breeding season. The cattle quite often will breed any time in the year, but if a bison is not in good condition, say come the end of July to August, they generally don't breed. And that's back to their natural habitat when they used to roam the North America. So we all know that bison, their natural instinct is to roam hundreds, thousands of kilometers each year. So we do realize that by having them on a farm that you are in a sense confining them. Well, how we manage that is that we do not touch our bison other than once a year to wean them. We like to leave them as quiet as possible. As you can see, they're quite far away from us. Not because we can't get closer as well, but because we like to leave them do their natural thing. We'd like to see a day when we don't have to have fences for them but it just won't be here yet. This is our start to bring them back to North America. On behalf of our family farm, Sturgeon Valley Bison, we wanna thank you for joining us today to see a little piece of our world. We look forward to welcoming you anytime. <laughs>